toffee caramel color goodness so god knows what that means Well, hello, here is a completely different way to start my YouTube video for Friday. I thought I should do a what I wore. Yes, the elephant in the room is I put big hair on. I have shot this in different days and different sequences. So um, you will see moments when I don't have the big hair and when I do have the big hair. So anyway, I think I'm just going through a phase when it starts to get cooler where I'm thinking about going with protective styling. All right, so let's start off with a week of what I've been wearing. So this part of the video is in collaboration with Everlane. I've worked with them before, love their stuff. And so I thought I would kick off by showing you uh, a few pieces I got from them. So. First off are these wide leg jeans, cropped length. And I like that it's got pockets as well, so it's nice and easy. Um, and it does go up and it goes in. You know how we like when the jeans actually curve in so they don't do that thing at the back, you know what I mean? It doesn't do that gap thing there. Um, and then for the top half, I've got the alpaca sweater on. It comes in different colors and I just like this baby pink on my skin tone. I just, I like that that soft color on me. So I went with this and I would like, it's very, very soft and I like these kind of cuffs to it. Yeah, so I like these two together from Everlane. This is this feels really warm as well, which I like. So I don't feel like I have to put something underneath it, but I actually have one of their bras um, from under, underneath it as well. Do I show you or do I just put in a cutaway? I don't know. Do I really want to show you the bra? Um, oh, I'll just give you a quick flash. Will I get demonetized if I show you my bra? No, I won't. Oh, sod it. Look, this is the bra from them. It's just like a normal kind of, you know, like a tank bra. So it's all elasticated, the whole thing, all around here, elasticated. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, like that's gonna help you. I live in bras like this, no like lines or lacing to show through or anything. So anyway, so I got that as well from them. Okay, so the next pair of jeans that I got from Everlane are these. These are their cheeky straight jeans. Now they're just like the contrast stitch. Cause you remember in last week's video, I had an outfit on wearing um, contrasting stitch. So, but that's in a skirt. So it's nice to have it in a pair of jeans. Obviously I have a thing about contrasting stitching. Again, very comfortable, a little bit higher on the waist. The denim brands are doing that more and more. So you're actually seeing them actually taking care of your booty for a change. And for the top part, I got this sweater. Now this is cashmere. Now I don't have too many cashmere pieces. Um, you're on Instagram, I mentioned that before um, on one of my posts and I just feel like I should just be getting better quality in my basics. I also have it in black, so I'll show you that next. But I liked this rust color because I thought it was like a really perfect autumnal color to wear. You know how I love all those kind of autumnal colors. So I thought, well, this is like a leaf basically, but in sweater form, all I did was like I unfolded it completely. So I can imagine when it gets cooler, it's gonna be so warm to wear something like this. I love to wear skinny polar necks like this underneath like slip dresses, you know, all my summery type of dresses just to winterize them. And then the last pair of jeans I got are also their 90s cheeky straight cut jeans, but these are in their like a darker wash. I think it's called Destruction because of the ripped uh, knee. I haven't worn ripped knee jeans in ages. And I don't know, I just kind of liked the combination of this rinse color and with the little rip in the knee. I just I just liked it together. So I kept it very casual, just wearing it with a pair of like white sneakers. Um, but this rinse is, I just, lo I love this color. It's just, it's just dark enough, but there is a little bit of distressing in it as well. So I thought they were just right. Um, and like I said, they're called the 90s Cheeky Straight. I'll link everything below, obviously, so you can um, check them out yourself, but not, too too tight i don't feel like i'm an encased sausage wearing these it's just got enough um folds here see what i mean so it just has enough give but still just fits really well so these might be my favorite pair actually out of all of them from everlane and i got another cashmere uh, polar neck this time in black no need to say why i mean this i have always had a black polar neck in my wardrobe since going to school probably I'll, I'll always own one because it it's it's the most used jumper 
that I'll ever own um, every single winter time. It's the perfect layering piece to wear under everything. So, and I love them. And this is so nice and warm. Um, and yeah, the quality is, is just great. Okay, there's one more thing that I got from them and I'm gonna show it to you now, but I just wanna just show you this last pair of jeans before I get changed. So hold on, hold, hold on. <laughs> And then the last piece I got from Everlane is this jumpsuit. So I think it's called their utility jumpsuit. Um, and it's just a good all in one. I just fell in love with it. Just the idea of just having a good pair of like overalls just to bum around in and just to wear to go out. Um, and it makes a change for me wearing dresses because I wear that most of the time so it's nice to have like an all-in-one that is not that and it's also got a little bit of stretch in it as well it comes with a belt but i took it off i still have it it just has i mean it looks fine with it i should probably go and get it but so it looks like that <laughs> you can imagine with the belt but i actually like it just like this kind of more boxy that kind of like you know real utility kind of vibe to it a real workman type of vibe so yeah much more relaxed um it comes in a navy blue as well i picked up this color because i thought why not i kind of liked it in this color accent it with them um, you know any kind of like black boot so that was my thinking that's why i went with this color instead so i'll leave all the links for you below if you're interested in any of the pieces that i got or anything else on the website but um definitely good with some very quality uh, staple pieces for my wardrobe and uh, i love this this is such a good new addition i can't wait to actually you layer this um, with the tight uh, cashmere polar necks underneath okay so I'm going to show you the rest I'm wearing this week <laughs> okay so I'm going out to meet Daria my friend for brunch and I'm in Topshop Topshop yeah this is Topshop trench coat it looks really nice when it's belted because it's got a really nice wide um, belt here so when you cinch in you get a really nice um, shape this is the thrifted thread up blouse from last week's video i got these jeans from a vintage shop and the boots are mango they are platform 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 <laughs> platform croc kind of boots really comfortable vintage pre-loved fendi baguette that's everything i quite like it right Anyway, so I need to go. I'm a little bit late again. I'll just take this off. I'll talk to you a lot later. and it is going to chuck it down I can see it so um, I'm wearing the Burberry trench coat that I found from the thrift shop this is a vintage one of course I love it a bit oversized but you know that's how I like it as well that's what she said I wore it with my um, leopard print dress which is also <laughs> um, I got it from a vintage shop like god I think Honestly, I think this is about eight years old, this dress, <laughs> maybe. Um, I've had it from when I was, you know, first started blogging and I've, I've always loved it. Um, it just goes to show the certain characteristics in clothes that I like. I will hold on to it and this leopard print dress is one of those things. So it just reminds you of like you're wearing like a polo neck, but you're not. And it's long sleeved as well. You can't see, but it is. And just the, the long length of it, it's just tick, tick, tick bag which you all know about by now some of you don't and you're like oh, what bag what bag but this was from i think episode four or was it episode three of um what people are wearing in new york my street style series and i found someone who was wearing this bag and i loved it so much that i had to just click and buy it i actually, actually i stopped her and asked where did you get that bag so i ended up getting it as well um, i know a few of you did as well so um i'll put another link for it below comes in different colors blah blah all right so <laughs> that's my whole look oh my belt gotta fix my belt doc martens 
uh, to finish it off just to kind of anchor everything all right i think that's it and it's now time to head out um i know it's gonna start raining so whatever i'll just deal with it bye <laughs> so i'm meeting up with tara good old tara it's been like a couple of weeks now so we thought we would catch up so feeling very comfortable anyway i will take you with me deep concentration <laughs> oh my god this looks good sam i'm Whoa. tired i'm definitely stealing some of yours that looks really good holy crap oh my god look at our plate well, like, you know who i did place. well with the suggestion i think <laughs> We did well. This Me and Karen amazing. eating our way around New York. All right, so another day, and I thought I would bust out my clogs. I've actually had these for five years, believe it or not, but I just wasn't wearing them, um, and I can't let another fall go by and not wear them. So I got these. I'm actually looking for a black pair. These I got from a thrift shop. Um, and they fit me, which is great because I've noticed that any kind of shoe or boot that has wood, like a genuine wood sole or, or part like here, they're always too small on me, but these aren't, see? These are actually okay, they fit fine. See, look, the heel does not hang over, it's fine. I'm looking for a black pair. These are a green suede and I uh, thought I would wear my green, little Lifner bag that you guys already know about and this is a vintage fringe trench trench oh god I've got trench coats on the brain a vintage suede uh, jacket and I love the fringing on it it goes on the back as well I've had this for um I want to say probably about four years ish so I've had it for quite a while it's just one of those jackets that to me will never ever go out and then I've got my Rachel Comey jeans. These I love. They're wide-legged and um, I just love that two-tone colour at the bottom of them. They're not cheap, but I like them. And they're ultra-high-waisted as well. Like, ridiculous. Like, here's my boob. Here's the waistline. So it's like, almost like, you know, Farmer Joe. You know, right, just, just right there underneath your... I mean, look at that. If I had a big boob, my boob would literally be sitting at the top of the waist of these jeans. Anyway, <laughs> um, I will talk to you a lot later. Okay, another day and I am in... I love coming into this room because it's like there's nothing to do because it's just so empty. I don't have to do anything. I just have to come up to this mirror. Um, but I'm in the Triple S white sneakers. I like wearing them when it's uh, the colder time of the year. Um, and in the summer, I obviously just wear like lots of sandals and stuff like that. So anyway, so got the sneakers on and then um, I thought because I got the white, I'd go with the white stowed bag. And then up top, the brown vintage um, trench coat. It's got a belt, which I like. So I can sort of do this as well, which I quite like. Um, and then underneath this dress. Oh, I love this dress. Um, I need to find the name of it for you. I'll put it on the screen, but I wore one of their dresses before and I love that dress. I had to return it, but I, oh, that dress is so good. Um, but anyway, let me take off the trench so you can see what it looks like properly, but it has like sort of puff sleeves. I like anything that's like high neck, long like this and has like a bit of a sleeve, which is what this is. It's like tick, tick, tick. So hold on, oh, I just put this on the floor. I can't be bothered. Don't judge. This is the sleeve on it. I love that sleeve. I love that sleeve. Yeah, and then, like I said, high necked. Um, um, and then, um, um. <laughs> I wish it was a little bit tighter here on the waist, just to define. Um, I think it's slightly too big, but I'd rather be slightly too big than too small. And yeah, so like I said, it's nice and long, which I love. And I think it looks great just with a pair of like, um, like I said, just a pair of trainers. And then obviously the stowed bag as well. Like I mentioned, I like that I can wear it both ways, like in my hand or just on my shoulder like this. It's just the right size as well. It does come in a, a larger size, but you know me, I love um, small bags. So this is like the perfect size. It fits this camera in it this little tripod thingy in it, my wallet, suit, you know, any, I was supposed to say suitcase, sunglasses and all that kind of stuff, makeup or whatever. Speaking of makeup, I've got on um, NARS lipstick, look this up to see which one this is, but I love wearing oranges year round and especially during the autumn time. Okay, coat is back on and I'm heading out, but 
just thought I'd show you the whole look. And like I said, I like wearing orange lipsticks. It's coming out with on red on YouTube. Everyone thinks I'm wearing red and I'm wearing orange. Um, but I love orange with like this chocolate brown. I think those kind of colors really go well together, especially during this time of the year. So that's what's going on. A little bit of a eyeliner. Um, I usually wear, what do I wear? Oh, Benefit They're Real. I'm actually looking for another good eyeliner. I love this one because it's so black and I love how easy it goes on and stays. But if anyone owns it, you'll know about the issue it has with um, product always like seeps out of it every time you open a lid and you get rid of it on the tissue and then you start again. So that's a lot of waste. If you know a good alternative to this, tell me in the comments below. Thank you. Okay, so I thought I would wear, why is this light so blue? It's really weird, the lighting is really blue. Anyway, um, maybe I can adjust it. So I thought I would go out wearing the, oh, this is the last, I don't want the light to be blue right now. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd go out wearing this uh, slip dress, wear it during the day. Um, I posted it on Instagram. I thought I should show you how I want to wear it now because I love this so much. I don't even know if the color of it is actually picking up. It is a stunning electric blue slip dress. And I thought, why not just wear it? Just wear it out because it's too pretty to reserve for that special dinner, special event, special this, special that. So, because it is worthy of that. So I thought, oh, look at that. Gives you curves. So I thought I'd wear that with my Doc Martens. You know how much I love these ones. I'll link them below. I think they're fantastic. They're such a good buy. I also wore this long. I'm wearing basically black with it because I want the focus to stay on the dress. So uh, this is the cashmere turtleneck from Everlane. Told you this, you hit the ground running with black polar necks. And then I say turtleneck, polar neck, I say both. And uh, the coat is from H&M. I've had this coat for about two years, maybe two, yeah. I think two years now. Love this. It's long, black. It's such a nice weight to it. I, I, like I said, the length of it is what drew me to it because normally coats, I'm five foot seven, are a little bit around my calf, but I like something that's longer. So it's perfect. And I finished off with my Mark Cross Grace bag and that's it. Okay, here I am back at the mirror. God, it's like inception, isn't it? Or sort of, because you've got the mirrors there and then it's like a repeat every day coming back to the same place. But anyway, so today um, I thought I'd put my men's suit on. I thought I would tie it, well, belt it this time. And I sort of made it a little bit shorter here so that we've got a tiny bit of ankle grazing going on because I kind of like that look with um, trainers. This is vintage men's uh, belt. I, I think I thrifted this belt. And then I thought I'd put a scarf on. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it. I think I will later on because, um, and this scarf I've had for a while. Actually, I got this from Housing Works. So this is from a, um, a national chain thrift shop. So yeah, I've always liked this. They had a bunch of them and I thought it looked so nice. It was sort of very sort of acne-like, right? And the lipstick, I've got on this new Pat McGrath lipstick. They sent this to me. It's such a nice color. I really like it. Um, it's almost like a pinky nude on me, which I like. I, li I love this lipstick. The bag, it's Loewe Stone Blue Small Puzzle Bag. Um, the original with the feet. I told you they don't know why, but they got rid of the feet. If you want to, if you're deciding between two sizes, like the Loewe puzzle, I've done a review on this. I'll link that below. Um, a review on the bag, and also I have a video comparing the small and the medium because I had both sizes at one point. So you can um, decide just based on me what you think you would would work better with you. But for me, the small definitely works for my lifestyle. So I ends up as you know keeping that so yeah i think that's everything um i thought it was nice just to take out the boxiness this is it without the scarf so now you can see why i've got the scarf with me because my chest is just basically open um i'm wearing a reformation bodysuit underneath it it's got that thin strap that i like is it reformation no this is top shop actually so that's the whole look today like i said i'm going out with this so really i'm going to be like this today just walking around with a scarf. But um, yeah, so that is, that is today. All right, so heading out, I'm going to actually have some lunch with a friend and I thought I would just obviously show you what I'm wearing. This is the Zara floral, it's got ruffles here, love this, uh, dress, high neck, it's got long sleeves. I wish they were, they're actually flowy, kind of loose at the 
hem hem at the bottom sleeves i wish they were actually long enough to stick out of the coat because i think that would look amazing if it was like that but this was from the pile that rihanna said to chuck from my wardrobe purge if you haven't seen that video i'll link it below what is that <laughs> sounds like i left the gas on <laughs> but she went through my whole wardrobe well most of it yeah yeah, most of my wardrobe and she chucked out what she thought shouldn't be in there and I got rid of everything but I kept this. So when she left the house, I like sneakily like grabbed it from the pile. <laughs> so yeah, so this dress stayed, Zara. The bag is from And Other Stories. If it comes back into stock, I'll let you know. I've been trying to check to see if it does but I think I was just lucky just to be able to pick it up before it was it was gone it's like a snake print um, pattern on it and i love this thing it's just so nice the color combination and combined with the snake is just so nice and is so perfect for this season and because that's quite loud i went with a black coat just to kind of like tone everything down and keep the focus on the bag and the dress and then the shoes are by stella mccartney look at these bad boys i've got these because i have literally given up looking on ebay etsy and vintage shops and flea markets for a pair of uh, caramel colored platform boots in my size i can't find them i will find them but they'll never be in my size so i just thought sod it i'm just gonna plonk down the cash and get myself a pair that uh, do fit and I do like so I love these they are massive they are no joke size and I just they're everything and a bag of chips toffee caramel color goodness so god knows what that means that's me before I head out so I thought I'd quickly show you and if this is my last um, outfit for my video today for what I wore um, let me know if you would like me to do more videos like this thumbs up if you do I'm not sure I don't do these often, so when I do, um, you know, I like to be able to get feedback on if you like them or not. Have a good weekend, obviously, as I always say to you lot. And next week, Friday's video will be on what people are wearing in New York, episode five. So I'm really looking forward to that. What people are wearing um, as the season is getting a little bit cooler as well. So looking forward to that anyway so between this friday and next you can follow me on instagram karen britchick and i think that's everything that is everything why am i dancing i don't know i don't know so that is my whole look can't think of anything else no that is it all right i'm off oh and the lipstick i am um, keep wearing that same combination which is the liner and the um the benefit aligner in black and the lipstick by pat mcgrath i'm really liking this this is why i'm kind of sticking to this combination for now um outside of orange lipsticks but i love this kind of this high neck with you know the coat I love the drama of a high neck i just think it's so elegant so timeless as well all right so apart from the feet those are, that's not elegant and timeless. That's just Karen just loving her 70s vibe stuff. All right, I'm gonna go. I keep waffling. I'll talk to you lot next Friday. Well, I won't. Actually, I will, sort of, but it'll be about street style. <laughs> Bye.